we moved in case you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? And you have no idea, but if you're following me on Instagram, then you know that we moved. I'm so happy. If you're from the Netherlands, then you will recognize the following scenario. Someone asks you, hey, where are you from? And then you're like, hi, I'm from the Netherlands. And then they're like, so you're from Amsterdam. And then you're like, not really. Now, finally, when someone asks me like, hey, where are you from? And I'm like, I'm from the Netherlands and they're like, so you're from Amsterdam. Now I can finally say yes. That will save me so much time. It's the reason why we moved. It's not the reason why we moved. I have some explaining to do. We had a viewing and it started with me spilling my coffee in my car. Because what happened, I picked up one of these reusable coffee mugs. Which you obviously have to close this little part in order for it to not spill. And what I didn't do was close that little part. So then I just threw my bag in the car before we had the viewing and then the coffee spilled everywhere. Great start. So we had a viewing and then I just fell in love. Our previous apartment has no natural lighting whatsoever, almost no windows. And this one has a lot of windows. So I just fell in love. And then a little while later, we got the keys to our apartment. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a fan of waiting. So that is why I decided to bundle all the clips uh, of us moving in the process into this video. Because even though moving for us took a few weeks, for you, it only takes 10 minutes. So the flooring was done on a Friday and then we set our moving date to be Saturday. And then on Thursday evening, Ruben was like, hey, why don't we move on Friday? Because the flooring... Of course it will be done on Friday, but they're not doing the flooring at like 8 p.m. And then I was like, that is such a good idea, it should have been mine, so let's move on Friday. So that is what we ended up doing and we rented a huge truck and we moved all of our stuff basically except the closet and the washing machine. So then in the evening I had to wash my hair because, well, I have to wash my hair sometimes and I thought that I brought shampoo with me and then it ended up not being shampoo but I brought a body scrub with rice in it so I already committed to washing my hair because my hair was already wet so I, there was no going back then and I washed my hair with a body scrub and then the next days I had rice coming out of my hair it was fun. And the next day on Saturday, my brother came to help us with moving the closet and the washing machine. And then while they were breaking down the house, not actually breaking down the house, but just, I don't know what they were doing. I was doing my clothes. So then we drove to Amsterdam. Actually, Ruben drove because I was way too scared to drive because it, was, it wasn't like an actual truck, but it was like a larger truck than a minivan and it, it just scared me. So he was driving and then we arrived there quite late in the evening and then we moved all of our stuff into the apartment. Sounds like a great plan, but it wasn't really. So what ended up happening was that the closet wasn't able to make a certain turn, but then we also had a truck full of stuff. So we had to make a decision and it was late in the evening. They were like, we get the stuff out of the truck. And then I was like, great, I'll try to get the closet detached and then try to see if we can just move the separate items into the apartment. <sighs> Took the closet apart. It was with a lot of power and some pieces broke and it was late in the evening. So I had to be quiet, but I had to take the closet apart. So. It wasn't super quiet, but then eventually everything worked out and we got all of our stuff in our house and then we did the truck away. Then the next few days consisted of me having to figure out where the pieces of the closet went because I just took it apart and I didn't remember which like plank was where. I'll show it so you get a better understanding. Now, I don't know if you've seen it, but the closet was initially in an L shape, but we had to get rid of the L part because it didn't fit in this room. So this is what we currently have going. And then this one used to have like an L shape here, but we had to get rid of it because there is the door and the L was on the wrong side. Because otherwise, if we would turn it around, it would block a window, which is not ideal. This one broke because I, I stood on it, unfortunately. But other than that, I think that it looks great. I'm so happy with it.
I have a quick and fun announcement for everyone from the United States or Canada. You guys are lucky because I just heard that Gymshark is having a sale for absolutely no reason, which is my favorite kind of reason. So I'm going to show you the pieces. And the best thing is whenever you're seeing this, this sale just went live, limited time only. So make sure to check the link in my description box if you want to check out the sale. I'll quickly show you some of my favorite pieces, but you have to promise me that whenever you're checking out the sale, that you come back later to check out the rest of this video again, okay? I'll show you my favorite ones, starting with the black camo. I just love the black camo. I love camo in general. Black isn't the only color that will be on sale. They'll also have the lilac gray one and then the winterberry one on sale. I'm wearing a size extra small and I love... Let me show you the other colors. I love wearing the camo on leg days. It's a bit compressed and there is no camo whatsoever. And they're also completely squat proof. So this is the grey colour that will be on sale as well. And then this is the winter berry colour which will also be on sale. And as a reference I'm wearing a size extra small in everything. So easy. They also have some energy seamless on sale. The difference between the energy seamless and the camo is that the energy seamless is a bit more compressed. The camo has a little crunchy thing in the back of the leggings which is super flattering. But it can also be a little bit much. This thing, Energy Seamless doesn't have that. This is the gray color and then a mint color as well. Love this one for summer. And then some of my other favorites, the Vital Seamless, super flattering. Love wearing this just in regular, but also whenever I'm training upper body. And these are some of the colors that will be on sale. And also the complete black set. If you're in between sizes, then size up for the black sports bra because it fits a little bit more tight. I'll try this one on right now so you can see. And here we have the Vital Seamless. Love it, such a staple. Quickly wanted to try it on to show you guys. All right, so that was a quick intermezzo about the Gymshark sale. It is now live, link in bio to check it out. Limited time only, so make sure that you are quick. And now I am getting changed again. Now, I also had to do quite a large food shop since we just moved into this place and I thought that it was fun to show you what I basically get in a week in terms of my staples for my carb sources, my fat sources and of course my protein sources. But before doing that, let's quickly make a protein shake because I've been talking a lot and I need a refreshment. This is where I keep my women's best stash. I always love to stock up on my protein especially and I'm going to use the Isoa Infinite flavor to make a protein shake. All right, I wanted to show you this because I upgraded my blender. So this is her. It is the Magic Bullet, Nutribullet. I don't know how this works, but it is basically the bigger sister of the one that I was using. Let's make a protein shake. I'm excited. All right, so for the ingredients, this is not an ingredient. I am using one scoop of protein powder. You already know the deal. I'm going to add some oat milk and some water. And then I'm going to add fruits. I love the combination of strawberries and blueberries. You can use any fruits that you like. And then the secret ingredients. First one is chia seeds. Not really a secret ingredient, you don't really notice a difference, um, but hashtag health. What makes a difference? Cacao nibs. I don't measure anything, so maybe you need to add a bit more water, maybe you need to add a bit less water, but just know that I'm estimating my portions. Voila, there we go. Starting with the oat milk. Protein powder. I'll add some creatine as well. All right, some creatine. And I got a little glass straw and I added in the cacao nibs. All right, so some of the staples that I usually get whenever I'm doing my weekly food shop. Starting with the carbs, because carbs are the best thing ever. For the carb sources, I already ate the toast. I usually also get toast and bagels, but I still have the knekkebrot. Love it with avocado. 
And then I have beans. I love having chickpeas. Put them in the oven, add some oil, add some spices. And then they're like little chips. So I have some rice. I usually make rice in bulk. So I just boil everything and then I just put it in the freezer. So it's super easy. So you can just grab it and go. Then I have some granola. This specific granola has some rice pops in it, rice krispies. Um, so it's a bit lower in calories since granola can be quite high in calories. And I love to add this to my yogurt. And then some pasta. This is the Atkins Penne. I usually also get my bread from Atkins since it is low carb, even though it's my carb source, but it has more protein in it and a little bit less carbs, which is great because then I can eat more of the other items. And then some potatoes. I love these ones because you can just put them in the air fryer and make your own fries. Moving on to more carb sources, the fruits and veggies. Before I forget, oat milk. Love oat milk. I have oat milk with my coffee. I have oat milk milk. <laughs> I have oat milk with my protein shake. Talking about protein shake. And whenever I'm making oats. With the fruit and veggies, I usually get a combination of fresh ones and frozen ones. Just keep them in the freezer. Very easy. You always have some in stock. And then these ones I keep in the fridge. And for fruits, I usually get blueberries and bananas because I love making my banana egg muffins. And then I also have some frozen fruits and I got some blueberries and I also have some strawberries in the fridge. And then for fat sources, I love sesame oil or any oil in general, avocado, of course, and then peanut butter and then also cashew and almond nuts, but I ran out of them, so I cannot show them, but these are my favorite fat sources. Let's talk about protein. I got my protein here, protein stack. Low-fat Greek yogurt. This is called Scare Quark. I usually get it in vanilla flavor and I love to have this in the evening as like a late snack. And then I add some of this granola for a crunch. And then I also add some fresh blueberries and some cookie spices. Then I also have some of these pea protein chunks. I just keep them in the fridge. They're very easy. You can store them for a long time and then you can just grab them out if you need some extra protein with your meals. And then I also have some of these meat replacers. I got some tofu and I have some schnitzel. And then I also have some egg whites and some eggs. And snacks. Love snacks. Favorite one is chocolate. This one is the 85. I usually have 85. 75 sometimes 70 um, but i love the 85 because it just cures my craving and then some chips again already ate it because that's me all right so that was it from me i really hope that you enjoyed this little moving update slash grocery haul slash protein shake making don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to leave a like if you love this video and then I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope you're doing amazing and hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>